How we going today? Good? Good, Timmy. So, um, yeah, you want to give us a tour, mate, or what's the... Yeah. So, this is our historic little pub. And we've been here for four years. Yeah. We come from Cooper Pedy. So, 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 how long has this pub been here for? 1930. Oh, okay. And so you took it on four years ago? Four years ago we bought it. The last owners were here 17 years ago. Uh, for 17 years. Yeah. Right? So it was advertised for sale. And um, yeah, I just come up and, and um, I do buy you know, crazy things and do crazy things. Yeah. So what happened to the previous owners? They um, just burn out. Yeah. I guess that's pretty uh, pretty full on job, isn't it? Running a running oh, a place like this. It was like very this. very much um, it was very much very much run down. Yeah. As they are all in the territory, right? Yeah. Okay. So since we've been here, we've done a fair bit of work. Yeah. Um, yeah, sweet. This is all new, all new, and put in all new accommodation. Cool. And this is your um, this is your car. This is the rig. Yeah. And what you got? You got a few uh, a few pets here. Yeah, that's Blackface the goat. And Kevin the Labrador, <laughs> and that's Polly the horse. Yeah, so, are oh, you alright, mate? Polly um, just follows you around everywhere. Polly! Yeah, come on, Polly. Come here. Hey, Polly, come on. Come on. Here. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a zoo out here, mate. Yeah, come on, here. Polly, come here, come on. A bit shy today. Uh, she'll come in. She gets yeah. sick of that bloody goat. So, yeah. um, what's the story with all the okay. stuff around here? Right, all the bras and knickers. Uh, so all the bras and knickers, it started as a bit of a, um, a, what's the word? A dare with a bus company, right? Yeah. They dared the girls or someone to take off the bras. So it started off, they got them off, yeah. and it just went ever since. Yeah, right. So whoever comes in now, they um, they just normally leave a... Um, leave something. Leave something, leave a donation. I'm just gonna have a look at it here. Yeah, thank you. So got all the... Got some flags up here. Yeah, that's all different countries. So, you know, different backpackers have come through. We've pulled a lot of stuff down and moved it around. But, um, yeah, yeah We've no. actually renewed the bar and made it a bit bigger. Yeah. But you wouldn't know because we just kept all the old frontages and. Um, you want us to uh, show us around a little bit? Yeah, we will. We'll get rid of this goat. It's going to go on the, it's gonna go on the curry very soon. Huh? Go, like, see everything. Bloody Right, we're out here. Let's go for a walk. So this whole bath here, right? One of the um, one of the um, oh, rules of the pub of a wayside in, you've got to have water out the front for your horses. Yeah. So this is what, this is here. Okay. So this is the condition of your license. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Polly's drinking out of there all the time? Yeah, it's that's the old hitch. feature of the pub is is the old bogan billiard tree there. So this yeah so this is our beer garden where we hold our entertainment. How you love her right? Coming. Thanks, love. 
again. We're very well known for our beef and barra. Yeah. And that's where we, we serve it on the barbecue. And it really does, um, people just come here for that. Yeah, when, we have, when we have our entertainment, yeah. Is, there, is the barra, it's farmed, is it? Like, no, 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 no. It's um, come from K uh, from the Cape. Yeah. Um, we've normally been getting it from Borralula. Yeah. Uh, from their fishermen, and that's the story there. It tells you here about the, on that sign, that it's um, a family company. Yeah. And every day, like at night time, yeah. people are sitting here watching the live entertainment. Yeah. So the, the guy singing, how long has he been around for? Oh, look, he's, he's been here for about two oh. weeks. Oh, right. We normally have another a mob that come through and they stay sometimes for about nearly three months. Oh, okay. And then we have another entertainment, but we normally have two people up there, you know, playing um, um, normal, you know, like yeah. with a bit of a band. Yeah. But yeah, they get a, they get the crowds going. They are very well known. They they mingle pretty well. Yeah, Polly's been a big hit with the place anyway. Yeah, so. Polly. Polly the horse, eh? Beautiful horse, isn't yeah, that? Yes, yeah. Polly, what are we doing? Back, back. Going back. We'll go over here. We'll get this going. She's out of her room, too. You ever worried about Polly uh, kicking on the no, hind legs? No. Never does that? No. Well, you never say never. Yeah. But you just let people know that she's a horse. And Anything's yeah. possible. We'll just get these two here chained up and we'll go for the river. Grow Polly. Hey mate, can you do me a favour? Come over here please. Can you get the big, bl big black leg? We'll chain the dog up there. Oh. How many leads there? Should be two? Yeah, we got two. Kevin, get off. Come on, Kevin. Grab Kevin. Kevin's a big dog. Kevin. Yeah, he is. Right. Yeah, we'll leave Polly here and take her up for a bit of... Here, Polly, come here. Here. You have that, right? And I'll come and get you in a minute. Oh, Polly's happy. So, so what we've got here, this has made a big impact on the place. We've built like an old junkyard. Yeah. So the plane was actually um, was off HMS Melbourne, and it wasn't intact. Um, <coughs> people just ring me up and say, "Hey, I've got this for sale," and I wish they wouldn't. So we had to get that all pulled. We had to get that all pulled apart. Yeah. And um, yeah. Wow. So, so yeah. We, we, so you literally built this in the last three or four years? Yes, correct. Wow. Yep, so what we've done here, right, and, and everything we try to have a bit of a story. And it's just grown from here. My accountant hates it, and my wife hates it. It's really great. No, you're right, you're right, stay there. Try and get them all done up, you know, it's no good kidding you saying I did them all up or anything, but yeah. Wow. And, uh, but they're getting hard to find, they're very hard to find barn fine ones. That Indian there is awesome. Oh yeah, that's, that's a cracker. Yeah. Wow. And the yeah. bike, I like your bicycles you got here too. Yeah, this bicycle here behind you, that was the first bike to be ridden from south to north. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's the story. Right, so that was ridden, um, 
ridden along. That's amazing. Yeah. Because my, my cousin is from Holland and he uh, he rode from Adelaide to Darwin a few years yes, ago. And yes. um, yeah, he's still. Well, that's the original first bike. I mean, I had to pay big money for that. But, um, wow, that's awesome. I love the um, lamp on it. Right up, yeah. The brake on it. Yep. <laughs> the rod brake with the some leather clamp thing, whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's actually. Wow. That's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah, so what we're doing, we're going to display it a bit better so people actually know. But mm -hmm. this whole bike here is a paratrooper bike. They yeah, right. folded up and they jumped out the aeroplanes with it. Wow. Right, and then they rode across, um, see the pictures here? With the guns. Oh, yeah. Right. And that tells you the story. That's how they fold up. Holy the moly. The That's amazing. The, um, things. There he is there. Mm. Now, we've, got, we've got a bit of history here. That's amazing. <coughs> And yeah. This is this old uh, World War One truck? I actually bought this this one here from. Um, Which one are you talking about? This oh, one this one here. Yeah. This actually I bought from the Australian War Museum. Wow. Because someone there's only about three of them in Australia, and um, so I bought it and did it up a little bit, and um, yeah, they had it there, and someone was someone had actually given them one that was uh, had been restored. Yeah. <coughs> so they told me they had a policy that they couldn't have a tool of everything, you know. So, uh, yeah, they sold it. Wow. And this one here, this is an old, old, used to pick it up. You see how they go and pick the corpses up? Love the style of the older cars. Yeah. It's so, this so old awesome. motorbike, that, that come from America, the old cop bike. Such yeah. a nice bike, isn't yeah, it? So he's um, and this old bike here. Harley, is it? Yep. This was owned by uh, on the funny Century Fox, I think. It's uh, uh. an original. And it was owned by uh, Bud Erskitt. And Bud Erskitt, he was the best. Um, he was best friends with Steve McQueen. Oh, really? So he did the jump for Steve McQueen in that um, in the Great Escape. Yeah. He was a stuntman, so. That yeah, his, that, that come bike. yeah, that come originally from, I bought that from America. Um, took a little bit to get it over here because it had asbestos brake pads. Yeah. And, you know, they go right through them and whatever. And yeah. this here's a board runner. These are very, very expensive. The other ones that run around on the timber boards. Oh, okay. Back in their day. Barbed wire collection, biggest one in Australia, and it was owned by a guy down at Saddlesworth and it was in the Saddleworth pub. What happened was I bought it because he'd sold the pub, only is a bit of a difference. He dropped it up here and brought it all up to me, and we got a bit more of it. And what happened, we stuck it in the container. I wasn't here at the time. And if you have a look behind, see how you got all frames around them? These, what? Yeah, see how you got all the frames? Yeah. And you look at all the others and they have it on the wall? Yeah. Because the termites come up through the bottom of the container. Really? And ate all the frames. Wow. Right? And so they, we, they don't eat the, uh, the nah, backboard. So, so we started putting new frames on them. Then I thought, well, one of the boys will bugger it. <laughs> we'll just stick them up like that. They look more authentic anyway. It's amazing. I didn't realise there's so many different types of barbed oh, wire. What's yeah. the story there? It's well, just... there is barbed wire. 
Um, barbed wire. You know, you can go to a paddock that no one's been in, and you'll find barbed wire. I know that sounds crazy, but it all started from Texas. Okay. You know, in America. Yeah. You know? But there's so many different patterns, and this guy had it all. You know, uh, and it's crazy. People just collect different things. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I never thought of that one. Yep. So as we go through here. Oh. Yeah, the old combi. I bought that from, um, that come from Queensland. Yeah. yeah, she goes well. Yep, she goes well. And the boys just put in a little bar there. We've got a few different things in there. A few old... A few of the old bookie things years ago, how they used to be in the races. Yep. Little card here. This actually came from America. That's super cool. And and it, and it was read. They registered over there on the roads. So this this was it, it come from New York, and um, it was actually a cookie cookie bus. They'd fill it up with cookies and drive along the side. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, so wow. Look at that. Like little plate on here. Yeah. So the back used to fold down, and it's got a little thing. And, um, and oh they'd, wow. They'd fill it up with cookies and drive along the um, the roads. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Good to have a little paint. This old girl here, this one of my first cars, I bought about 30 years ago. It comes from um, Collinsville. Now, Collinsville was, is the main merino stud in Australia was. And I went to the auction. Anyway, I bought it. I don't know what I bought or paid for. 800,000 bucks. And when I bought it, old Art Collins walked over to me and said, here, son, here's the keys. You know, and all the bonnet was all rusted back where it could, where the sun could get it and whatever, so we did that up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an old classic of it. Now, we move on to Celeste. <coughs> this old limo was stre stretched for Barry Humphrey's film, Celeste Patterson Saves the World. So that was Celeste's in the movie. And um, yeah, so he wanted something really Australian, so he got it all built for him. And um, yeah. And on the back, it's got a little signature of Celeste. That's super cool. That is. Wow. I can open the door, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm... got like a it's called i think it's a cooley um rally up in queensland all he ever wanted to do is put it in the cooley red um rally so anyway he ended up dying and his family ended up finishing it off they spent nearly over hundred and thirty thousand on it and um and they put it in the rally and, and won him a first prize so yeah i think upstairs he'd be pretty happy with that yeah. So I've got a few little caravans coming up. These are the old ones. Ah, oh, your little PA there for your parties. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually a, a karaoke machine. That's a sick pickup truck, oh, isn't it? Okay. She, she, she low, <laughs> Look at that. It's got these low profile tires on it and everything. Yeah, and you know the stupid thing about it? Where you put the areas in is on the inside of oh, really? So it's a prick of the thing you get to. <laughs> Oh my god. So this side of the shed, we only put up this year. Yeah. The Commodore, mate, that's a collector's item now. Yeah, well that, that was off Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Creek. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the movie. Yep. Yeah, so we've Yeah. Come from America. Yeah. Restored it and brought it over. I mean, it's been. He would have spent heaps. Wow. 
Love all the analog stuff. So cool. Backpacks, they're, oh, they're yeah. amazing. That's a Doga. There's only two of them in Australia. Really? And they were used, as you can see, they were they're a bit like the Al Capone. They were used in America for the um, American Post. You okay. Know, different stuff, yeah. But that's a beautiful. I love the shape of it. Oh, and a great um, colour scheme. Yeah, it just runs like a clock. Yeah. Wow. So do you drive these colours? Oh, in and out now and again. Yeah. Oh, are they? Are they? Are they wooden wheels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got here? Yeah, that's, that's an old. I used to have one, one of them when I was a kid, when I was about seventeen, until I um, hit a park trail with it. Yeah. Full as a gook. As you do. And this old wheel here, I always had about I had a ages when I was a kid. Which I rolled and did about four trees with one night. And um, so I thought I'd do myself a favour. That's got a LS1 V8 in it, yeah, six wow. speed. Jeez. And um, yeah, that's going to hell of a lot of money converting that into a two door. Yeah, you can open the door for So, um, Let's say, what sort of bird's that? Actually, that's a hawk. It's a hawk, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Oh, that's an old bird. Yeah. See them on the road. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. I think we'll get him out later on. We'll let him open the back door. And otherwise, he'll be sitting all over the cars. Bit hard to see him at the zoom, but. <laughs> There's everything in here, isn't there? So what I've got, what I've got coming up this well, next couple of days, I've got the Highway Palace. Now the Highway Palace, if you picture the best windbargo of today, it was the best windbargo of the fifties. Oh really? It's getting delivered. It's, um, I will show you a picture so you can get a bit of an idea. Oh my! That's the Highway Palace. So that's getting freighted up from South Australia. Wow. That is beautiful inside. Wow. Leather, everything up the front here. Um, it was built by a guy, um, perhaps down at Pinaroo. It was, it was, they Pinaroo, found it where is that? South Australia. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, it, it was, that is beautiful. It's, wow. It's been, it's what? been well known as um, the best motor home in Australia. Wow. And um, yeah, it's been in all the, Camping shows and, and where's that going to sit here? Yeah, along the back wall. We'll take up a bit of room, so we've got to pull down all the side of the thing to drive it in. Okay. Now the reason that's like that is very, it's, it's still got its pin feathers. Very, very rare to find an eagle like that with its pin feathers. It was only young, and it got it got hit or something. So um, they thought they'd get it done. That come from New South Wales. So a lot of this gear's come from all around Australia. Yeah. It's absolutely bloody stupid what I've done. Even the old crocodile up the top. That come from Sydney. That was in... It's a big crocodile, isn't it? Yes, it is. Not sure if it's to scale, but... No, I don't think so. <coughs> yeah, so you're enjoying running the place? Oh, yeah, I've got my kids here. Like, it's pretty full on. Yeah. And, um, you know, something like this... You know, it's rewarding, it's something different because it's in the middle of Australia. Yeah. And um, it just blows people away when they come in. I've got another four fire engines, I've got another, I've got a couple of Rolls Royces, I've got old bread carts, butcher's carts, baker's carts, which I have to get up here. Yeah. What were you doing before you came here? Uh, we've had supermarkets. All oh, right. And Which um, ones? Like? Um, Foodlands. Oh, okay. IGAs. We've got a big one in Cooper Pedy. Oh. So I've been in Cooper Pedy about 16 years now. My daughter runs that. All oh, right. And um, Narra Court down the bottom end. Mm. So. Um, wow. But yeah, if I see something that I like, but yeah, I spent a lot of money transporting. Yeah. Wow. See this old Holden here with the. That was owned by a guy 
that's had a company all Australian Auto, right? Yeah. Now he was he owned the Gosford Motor Museum over in Sydney. Oh I, yeah, they just had a big auction, didn't they? So they went broke. Oh, oh that's right, yeah. Never... What happened? Right. Well, I don't know if I'm getting this right, but same as churches. If you're a church you don't pay tax, mm. which is wrong. He had it as a museum, so all the cars he bought, if you're in a museum, you don't have to pay tax. Okay. Well, then he was selling them, something like that, uh, and the taxation department caught up, and he owed something like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 million bucks. Uh, so they sold him up. Wow. And that was one of the cars, and the old green Did you, one, did you go to the... Um, no, no, they ran, just, I, I saw it advertised, because what happens, before everyone gets wound up, they're having a quick sale. So he was flogging cars off before they actually come in and seized them. Mm. So that's where I got the old green um, Dover wow, from as well. Wow, wow. One you liked. Jeez, that's a... Um... Yeah, so I'll oh, get back to it. So he owned an auto company, right? Yeah. Now that... It's been over in Switzerland, all over Europe. And he used to park it out the front. Because it was an FJ, uh, FX, it was parked out there as an advertising for his company. Yep. And it spent most of his time in Europe. And um, like he had it all done up. And then he brought it back to Australia. Mm. Wow. So. No, it's super cool. Just getting any Holden now is probably probably not a bad investment either. <laughs> I yeah, guess. look, people are stupid. You know, like, I can't believe the money they're paying from, you know? Yeah. And, you know, motorbike. You just. I don't know where people get their dough. Yeah. They get bugger all money for their super yeah you know if, and and they put in see this stuff's going up you know two three i'm not saying threefold but you know yeah. the, the falcon gt everything's half a million dollars mm. you know it's um like oh, even the old holdings you know i don't know i might have paid the old gold one i think i paid 12 grand well you know they're, they're nearly 50 grand now you wow. know wow wow and what's the uh What's the future of the place? You reckon just uh, oh, more of the just, same? Yeah, you don't want to change it too. We've changed no. the, we've changed the place a lot, yeah. but we've kept all the character. Yeah, like even this old building here, we we just you know put tin around it, made it look authentic, and you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. It's a very chill horse. Oh, look, she's beautiful. You know, like we do the same thing every day. She follows. She's waiting to go home now for a bit of a feed. So, yeah. Wow. All right, Tim. All right, mate. We'll see you around. I'll see you around. I'm going to leave today, but uh, anyway. I'll see you before you go. Anyway, yeah, for I'm, sure, for sure. I'll be back in about 15. Sick. All right, mate. Thanks for everything you've done. No worries. And enjoy. Thanks, Tim. See ya. How you going, mate?